Welcome back to another video on the internet. My name is Kevin, and as you can tell, I've got blue hair. So insert the blue hair singing montage. I'm blue. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way <laughs> and addressed the situation, yes, as you can see, I've got blue hair and it's very metallic -y kind of blue. I am obsessed with it and I love it so, so much. And if you guys have not seen my uh, vlog of me dyeing my hair, I'm gonna have it linked at the end of this video and I'm also gonna leave a link down below in the description if you wanna check that out and see me getting my hair dyed blue because it's actually a really fun vlog to watch. And yeah, I really love my new hair. So yeah, that's as much as I'm gonna talk about my hair just in case this video goes on a big tangent about my hair. So as you can tell by the title, this is my February wrap up and I actually read five books in the month of February, four uh, books and then one play. And I had a really good reading month. I'm actually really happy with the books that I read. I read a lot of great books and it was just a really good reading month for me. So I'm just gonna jump straight into it and tell you guys exactly what books I read in the month of February. The first book that I read this month was History Is All You Left Me by Adam Silvera and I really loved this book. And I gave this book a five stars on Goodreads but I think I gave it like a 4.5. I just rounded up to a five because it was more a five star book for me. And I really enjoyed this book. This book was actually the book of the month for my book club World of Words which I'm gonna have linked down below and you can join if you want to. And we read this book for that book of the month and I also did a live show of it on my channel which is up as well. I'm gonna leave that link down below so you can go check that out too if you wanna hear our thoughts on this book more. This book follows a guy named Griffin whose ex-boyfriend Theo has just died and it's basically his way of coping with it and his grief process and stuff like that. We flip from present day where Theo is dead and past where Theo is still alive and when they were together and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, it's a really, really great book. I love Adam Severa's writing. I would highly recommend this book to you. It's very sad. If you've already read More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera, then you'll definitely enjoy this book too. I will have to say though that I did enjoy More Happy Than Not more than this book, but they were still both amazing books. So I would highly, highly recommend this book to you. The next book that I read is the play that I read, and that was Wife to James Whelan by... Teresa Devi, I think. Oh my God, I'm really bad if I got that wrong. I know it's Devi is her last name. Anyways, she's an Irish playwright. And I had to read this for my representation of women in Irish writing or Irish literature, something, that kind of class. Anyways, and we had to read this book and then discuss it in our class with everyone. I get this play a three out of five stars. I did enjoy it, like I was able to read it, like I wasn't bored, but but then again, it also just nothing really did actually happen that was majorly exciting. But I did like how the representation of women in this book because it was kind of like they were pushing away from what like society thought of women at that time because there was the main character in this is Nan and she was making her own decisions. Those decisions may have gone wrong, but she was able to make her own decisions and she didn't need a man helping her do that. And I really loved that aspect of representation of women in this. And yeah, I'm not really gonna even give you guys a synopsis because I'm pretty sure the majority of you do not care at all about this, but I'm just including it because I did read it in the month. The next book that I read was Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. Now, I gave this book a five out of five stars. I absolutely loved this book. This was right off my street. I hadn't read a dystopian type book in so long. And like, it was just so refreshing to dive back into that kind of society and it made me realize why I love dystopian as a genre in books and oh, I just love this so so much and if you don't know what this book is about this book follows a girl named Mare who lives in a society where there are red and silvers red are like the peasants or the poor they're not seen as equal as the silvers and the silvers are actually the ones in the hierarchy and they have got like these powers that make them special and stuff like that and basically Mare gets like a job as a servant, working for like the Silvers, then stuff happens. And I'm not gonna say any more than that because I don't wanna spoil it, but this book is so, so good. The one thing that I wasn't liking about this book when I first started reading it was how predictable it was at times. 
but then like there's a part at the end of this and I did not see it coming at all so then like I couldn't really say that it was predictable because I didn't see it coming and it blew my mind so it was predictable at times but like really it was not predictable and I freaking loved this book so so much I flew through it and oh it's one of my new favorite series I'm thinking still have to read the third book but I don't know guys, this is becoming one of my new favourites and I know people have kind of like a it gets worse kind of feeling to it so we'll have to see what my overall thoughts are when I finally finish the series but for now I loved it, 5 out of 5 stars, amazing. After reading Red Queen I did want to jump straight into the sequel Glass Sword but then the trailer came out for this book that I read and that is Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. The trailer came out for this book recently. I saw the trailer and I was like obsessed with the trailer. After seeing the trailer it just made me want to read the book so that's what I did. I read it in less than a day. This book is so fast and quick and easy to read. Some of the pages are like so short. Like This is like one chapter and there's some pages that are like drawings like this and it, you just fly through it. And this book follows a girl named Maddie who is allergic to basically everything outside. So she cannot leave her house or she'll just get really sick, could die kind of thing. So the only people she really knows is her mother and her nurse who is with her while her mother is in work. And they basically have like all these filtration systems so that she has clean air and all that kind of stuff. Then these people move in next door and there's a boy named Ollie and they basically start texting each other and stuff like that and it's just it's a really really cute book i would highly recommend it i love this stuff so much i'm planning on reading more by nicola yoon because i just love the diversity and everything in this and i'm really looking forward to reading more books by her and the final book that i read in the month of february was glass sword by victoria aveyard and this is the sequel to red queen which i already showed i'm not going to give a synopsis to this book because it's the second book in the series i've already told you what the first book is about basically this picks up exactly where the first book ends and it just continues on from that it's really good it's kind of a like filler book like it sets it up really well i think that's why people don't like this book as much as the first book because it kind of sets everything up for the last book but saying that i still really enjoyed it i gave it four out of five stars i loved learning about all these new characters get introduced and the powers aspect and stuff like that and learning about powers and I'm really excited to read the next book which I'm probably going to be reading in the month of March so I will have my overall thoughts of the whole trilogy then and yeah as of now it's not disappointing me and I'm still really enjoying it and yeah I cannot wait to see what happens in the last book and I will tell you guys all my feelings about it then. So guys, they are all the books that I read in the month of February. I am really, really happy with my reading month this month. I think I read so many great books and I'm really looking forward to see what books I read in March because I have so many books that I want to read. So yeah, if you've read any of these books, let me know down below what you thought of them. And other than that, I will see you all in my next video. So goodbye guys.